What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. To be honest with you, I never really thought I'd ever make a video on these, but this was a game of my youth. You know, I remember going into the blockbusters, and then uh, eventually, you know, when that didn't work out, uh, family video, and, you know, you would always see these games. I didn't know if they came out yearly, you know, maybe every other year, along with the Olympics, right? I didn't really know how they worked, but I always enjoyed them as just renting type games. I never thought they were, like, amazing. But they were these pseudo, you know, you get them, you you play some mini games, they're pretty okay. And I had some fun with them. I actually, you know, these would maybe make for some good videos to do on uh, Back to the Past. Talk about some old, you know, <laughs> old Mario and Sonic games. Should have probably done it because of the Olympics. But we have some news because if you didn't know, and I kind of knew by almost not knowing, there hasn't been any in a while, in many, many years, there hasn't been a new Mario and Sonic at whatever Olympic Games they were currently doing. And uh, we actually have a reason now, and it's actually like the Olympic board, it's that partnership, uh, you know, with Sega and all them, that was what, you know, was pulled out of. So, and I guess also the funny part is what they've reinvested in, right? They pull out of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and they reinvest into some really dumb stuff, at least in my opinion. So looking at Twitter here, and I, this kind of blew up, a, at least originally, there will be no more Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, so just flat out none. The Olympics canceled the partnerships in favor of eSports and NFTs. At least they're being honest. <laughs> at least they. Uh, at least there's no hope, you know. And, and they tell us there's. It's always best when you know that there's no hope to be told there's no hope, right? It's like, well, you know, we're currently evaluating, right, the agreement and stuff. Well, maybe you would have hope for one of these games, but no. Uh, you know, esports are esports. Esports are incredibly popular, incredibly uh, competitive. I mean, like, I don't watch them, but I can appreciate them. I can. I can appreciate like the crafts and like the actual sports kind of part to it. Um, I, I get that, you know. They're 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 big. They make a lot of money. You know, like what else is there to say uh, from somebody who doesn't really care, right? The NFT one, I think, is just hilarious, right? So, look, I'm not again saying that these games were masterpieces. I think, you know, I mean, back then when I would rent them, I mean, you would go to the IGNs and you would go to the Metacritic and you would see pretty much every Mario and Sonic Olympic Games game had like a seven, right? These are the most seven out of 10 games you've ever seen in your life. You know what I mean? They're, none of them, you know, were above like an eight. Maybe they were never like a two, three, four, or maybe some of them were, I don't actually know. But, you know, these were fine games that I think, you know, blended two different properties. I mean, that, that was, that's a thing right now for me looking back. And I think that's the thing I would appreciate, uh, you know, doing it, say, in a retrospective way combining Sonic and Mario, right? Like, to me, that would be kind of the, the biggest part to it is uh, is that element and just the uh, camaraderie between the Sega characters and Sonic and then Nintendo and Mario, right? That, that, that I don't know, I would have fun with that, I guess. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like these, game, like these games are masterpieces or anything, right? But um, they were fun. Like, they were good for what they were. And to know that there's never going to be any, that's disappointing. But then also to know that the brilliant idea from the minds of the Olympic Games, which shouldn't be surprising, honestly, is that they go for NFTs instead, which is like, why are we still doing that? I thought NFTs have kind of like, you know, destroyed themselves. Like, didn't we, haven't we all seen that? Or maybe they have noticed that, or I guess obviously they haven't, but who knows? Who knows what they're thinking over there? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.